Hey everyone, it's Chris here from PSN Stores, and I'm going to give you some impressions on Destiny of Spirits, the American version here. So if you don't know, this is a semi, like a card game almost, but you're using figures and these monsters that you can summon uh, a couple different ways. One way is using stones, which you'll see, another way is going on a hunt through different points in the world, and you can also uh, get gifted them and stuff like that. So if you're a fan of any sort of like trading card game or, I don't know, things like tactics RPGs or even strategy RPG sort of things, this might be a game that you will enjoy. Uh, there are a lot of long loads which you'll see here and you do have to be connected to the internet to do some of the features. So hopefully there's no maintenance going on right now as we're trying to do this because that would be pretty bad uh, as you wouldn't be able to see a lot of the different things. but. So yeah, this is a co-created co by a Japan Studio and um, uh, Q Entertainment, which did Luminous, if you remember that. Oh man, here we go. Looks like we're connecting, so... Should be alright. But yeah, basically you're just trying to gain monsters and level them up to get uh, even stronger ones or merge them together, all sorts of stuff, and you're battling other sets of monsters, and there are rare summons, there are extra rare ones, there's all sorts of kind of cool things. But yeah, you'll get used to that screen you just saw there a lot, because it's shown a heck of a lot of the time. Because the game is constantly loading, it seems. There's also, if you didn't know, the game's free to download, uh, but there are microtransactions, like free-to-play sort of things. Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess we'll see that when you can see the different type of currencies you can have. All right, so uh, like many games like uh, that are free to play, there's login bonuses each day. So as you can see, it's my second login of the month. Uh, I missed the one yesterday because of some maintenance sort of deals. So uh, th to go over these, you can get summon stones, uh, destiny stones, or like spirit points, as well as summons. Uh, the ones that are the orange kind of thing, the s orange spheres are the destiny spheres. And those are the ones that are actually cost real money if you want to. There's like if you want to buy more of them. All the other ones you can earn in game by doing certain things. So one of the things you'll notice is uh, you get luck in the game, and today I have bad luck apparently with a water element. So I think luck changes based on uh, the day, that sort of thing, and it also changes the sort of like rewards you can get, I believe. Okay, so now one of the basic setups you have to do is you have to pick a partner, and uh, whenever you pick one of these partners, you'll summon a spirit together, and that spirit can go into your collection. So I picked someone that has a high compatibility with me. There are three versions of this game, if you didn't know. So there's like the American version, there's the European version, and then there's the uh, Asian version. And each of them have their own unique summons, so it's good to have friends that you play with that are on all different versions of the game, so that you can get some of the more rare type uh, monsters. So we got an, un an uncommon here, a gnome. Uh, I'm probably just going to get rid of that because I don't have much use for it. So here's the game's main menu. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do from here. There's summoning, uh, you can check your rank, uh, there's the options, the, the shop to buy more in-game purchase stuff, and then hunt spirits and friends. Uh, plus there's a little like uh, event going on called the Baptism of Light. So I guess the first thing I can show you it's a hunt. I think I have a hunt saved up, so maybe we can check that out. Acquiring location information. Alright, uh, looks like I don't have one, but we'll try it anyway. So, uh, you can travel around, it's sort of like near, where you travel to different areas, and uh, based on the distance you travel, uh, you might find rarer things, that sort of stuff. So I wasn't able to capture anything because I didn't have any. You can see like the number there on the left hand side of the ones you're available to get. Uh, so I think the more you travel, the better you are, and it, it uses the gyroscope to find your direction, which is kind of interesting. So other than that, we have spirits. This is where you can see all of your different monsters. Um, I do really like the game's artwork that they include for these monsters. Like you can see the games have some really cool art for some of these guys, like that's a jaguar. And since I'm in the North American version, I like the, the America's version, I have a lot of like Inuit, uh, Aztec, Mayan sort of legends. Uh, as my uh, main set of creatures that I can get from. But you can see, like, here's one from the uh, the Asian version, and it's a Chinese myth. And all the artwork here is pretty cool. I really enjoy, like, the different artists they got to do this stuff. Like, you can see some of these look really interesting. Let me find another cool one. 
like all these Aztec ones, like this guy right here, he looks really sweet. Um, so you can do a bunch of things. You can sell uh, monsters that you don't want for more spirit points. Or you can do what a lot of people do and you merge them together. So here, I really like this aspect of the game because you can uh, power up your enemies. I mean, power up your monsters uh, with some of like, the, the lesser, more common ones that you have. And the game has a lot of like in-game achievements, like trophy sort of things, where you're trying to get different uh, things will give you more rewards. So there's like one, I think there's actually a trophy for getting like a hundred different uh, guys at their max level. So one thing you do want to know whenever you're uh, leveling these guys up is you want to try to stick to the same element because you'll get a better boost from like the extra points you can get. Got a little bit there. Um, so completing levels on this level map here, like you can see this world map I got here. Uh, completing levels and beating their boss character will give you access to more like rewards that you can. You can either do it that way or you can buy them. So say you beat a boss, you have a certain amount of chance that you can get, say, more monster, like more uh, spirit limit is reached, so you can have more monsters, or your like le your like spirit level is upgraded. So you can have more like higher power spirits in your party. And great, an error occurred. Uh, another big aspect of the game is um, trading, which uh, I got a bunch of gifts here it looks like. So let's, uh, more apologies from the admins for the downtime. I'm liking these apologies that we're getting here. So I got a spider mother, what is that? Refused trade request, spider mother. I guess I got a spider mother. I don't know. I got another Melina. And I got one of those guys. Uh, so you can see my trades I've set up right now. Um, I have these two pending. I don't think they're the guys going for them. But let's get into the main part of the game. Uh, what I really find enjoyable with the game is the game's actual like, battle system, as you could say. So it's based on like uh, chance sort of thing, or not chance, it's based on like rock, paper, scissors almost. Like, so there's different elements, and each element has a weakness. So let's do one of these here. So these are all going to be metal spirits, so you can see when you prepare for battle here that uh, well, I guess I have to trade some. I have too many spirits right now, I gotta get rid of some apparently. So uh, let's merge some more guys here. Uh, what do I have extras of? Hmm. Bunch of water spirits. But I also have a bunch of er, er, uh, wood ones. So let's upgrade my uh, Yume Nax here with uh, some of these common earth ones I have. All right. That'll get rid of some of them, so we have at least some space to get some free guys here. So we gotta level up. You can view stats whenever you level up. It'll show you like the things that get boosted. So my HP went up 14, more attack, more uh, special defense. All right, let's get into a battle. Loading, loading, loading. Alright, so uh, it's a metal, so I'm going to want to include, you can see in the left corner there, that fire is the one that does more damage to metal spirits. So let's reset this. You can see the cost. Uh, each monster has a certain cost to them. I don't have any metal ones, do I? I mean, any fire ones that are actually level enough to do this. So I guess we'll go with my highest level guys that we can get in here. So let's get him. My earth man. I have four more I can spend now. So let's put the Kachina, because that's a very powerful one that I have, as well as... I've been using this one a bunch lately, because it has a good uh, battle skill, which you'll see in a second here. So uh, you can also, a big part of the game is bringing in more monsters from your friends that you have set up here. So you can see I can bring in... Let's see if I have a fire spear here that I can bring in to get some extra damage. Nope. So let's just pick one. Uh, let's pick uh, this guy here. So uh, bringing in a battle, like a different monster into the battle costs uh, spirit points. 
which are easy to get. So, I, and I really like that particular aspect of the game where you want to bring in other people's creatures to help you win battles and stuff. So as you can see here, battles are turn-based. If you look at the bottom of them, uh, you can see a little bar, and that's like their active combat bar. And they'll automatically attack for you. That thing that, that came up on the screen there with like the little like targeting radical thing, that was a friend attack. So your friends can like help you out in battle randomly. So in the, in the gauge at the bottom uh, left there is your special meter. And whenever a uh, spirit has an ability they can use, it'll say skill ready above them. So you can tap them to like freeze the battle a little bit. And then I'll use the invisible cage on my group of guys here to give them more uh, defense. But the battle system is probably the best thing the game has to go for. It's really fun. Uh, you can get really deep into the strategy sort of end of the game by, uh, I guess, uh, curating your parties to be ones that have certain skill sets and that sort of thing. And I really do like the aspect of trading across regions of the game so you can find rare monsters that are only in one part of the game but aren't in others and stuff like that. So we got another skill here. Let's do it. It attacks all enemies, so hopefully it takes them all out. Massive damage. Uh, I see I'm getting a lot of spirit points there from these enemies here. Uh, one thing that you'll notice after this battle is since this is like a, a free-to-play sort of thing, you're limited on the amount of, I guess, it's almost like the, your, your HP is your time, basically. The characters will regen over a set amount of time, or you can pay money if you want to uh, upgrade them faster. Uh, because the game's free to play, you can see it'll do things like that. It's, it kind of pisses me off, but um, it's what you get for getting a free game. You have to deal with these free to play aspects. So from beating that level, since there's an ongoing raid right now, I unlocked a raid quest. So uh, let's check that out. Raid quests are a little bit different because your, your HP doesn't really matter. Well, let's help these guys out, I guess. Level 23. So you can just pretty much bring your, your strongest fighters in with you and then just continually go after them over and over again. So I don't even need support for this. I'm just going to go straight in. Because it doesn't, like, uh, it doesn't take away from... Oh, I guess you already beat it. Darn. Well, I guess this is a good time to show you the rewards you can get for uh, doing these raid quests. So you can see there's a different number of uh, like points you can get from just doing a bunch of them, but you can also get certain items from uh, doing each of these raid quests over and over again. So I'm about to do a Miroku, Miroku 6, so I won't get anything from that one, I don't think. So uh, let's hop into it. Start the mission. And let's do the raid fight. So I will fight. Uh, you, you can also see raid points cost money if you don't uh, wait the time. I think it's like 30 minutes to get a raid point back. So, and we want to bring the strongest one we can bring in here. Let's bring in that. Level 32, wow. So raid fights are basically just trying to take out the middle boss. And I do like that you can get these certain special monsters only from these raid quests. So, it's another thing to, to keep you coming back and playing the game more than just like, oh, I'm going to come play it once and never come back to it. So I do enjoy that part of it. You can also pick which enemies you want to attack by tapping on your creature and then uh, tapping on the one that you want to attack afterwards. Since uh, Dark is doing more damage to to light monsters at this time due to my uh, level, like due to the my uh, fate, I guess, the, the bad luck, uh, I want that Bicorn to attack that light monster that we have there on screen so that we can uh, do more damage. And let's use my invisible cape. Or invisible cage so we can get uh, more defense. But yeah, from here it's just basically waiting it out. Hopefully we can destroy this boss without dying. If not, we just come right back in and probably take it out the next turn. You have two hours to fight a boss, so when it gets like level 99 later, they'll probably have insane amounts of HP, and you'll have to just try to wither them down and bring in strong monsters to help you out. That sort of deal. So another thing that I didn't show yet was like uh, summoning, which we'll do after this fight. We'll summon a couple monsters here. Um, you use the skill stone. You use the summon stones, which are like the the clear sort of stones that you get from winning battles. Uh, or you can spend your destiny stones. And there are two special like summons right now. You can get monsters or characters from the Gravity Rush series, as well as Knack. 
So I'll probably do one of each so you can see how that works. So we lost our uh, special friend summon there. But I think we're doing all right. And I guess we will put our cloak back up. Yeah, I'm really enjoying the game. I think I have about 10 hours played right now, which is pretty insane, actually, if you think about it. And uh, I haven't spent too much money, like real money, in the game. I did, when I first bought it, I did buy some Destiny Spheres as like a, a tip to the developers because I was really enjoying the game and I wanted to give them something for my purchase. Uh, let's decrease his defense. I do sort of like the set it and forget it battle style here. But there's a lot of depth and strategy that you can perform by crafting the correct team. So it may look pretty simple on the outside, but it does have a lot of depth to it. I'm just... Constant maintenance and the purchases, like the, the free-to-play aspects bum me out. I wish I could have bought the game for like 12 bucks and had access to everything. I wish games would do something more like that other than just having you have to wait to get things or pay out the ass for it. So we almost took this guy out. A couple more hits should do it. Got my skill ready again. And it seems like skills attack pretty much as soon as you get them. You don't have to wait uh, like you do for your active time meter to build up there. Looks like one more, two more hits now. We should have them out. Taking them down. All right, one more hit. Let's go. There it is. Nice. So besides this raid they have right now, there are like the different zones you can clear, and each zone has a zone boss, as well as like a, a region, a section boss as well, which once you beat the section boss, he'll be added to like the list of things that you can uh, unlock from whenever you do summoning. So let's do some summons here, uh, since we beat that. So I have 90 orbs. And I also have 900 uh, summon stones. So there's three different ways to summon. Uh, there are just like your normal summon. There's the gravity rush summon. And then there's the knack one. As well as the advanced summon. So we'll do an advanced summon and a gravity rush one. So let's start with the gravity rush. As you can see here the game spins along a little wheel here. And we got a rare spy costume Unica. Uh, so let's go back. Let's do an advanced summon. I think you have, you have a better chance of getting rare creatures when you do advanced summon, so I got a Sylphid. Looks pretty cool. And I'm out of spirits now, crap. <laughs> so, I gotta get rid of some stuff, looks like. But yeah, that's the game, it's, it's pretty fun. I'm enjoying uh, playing the game a lot. It is uh, something that I do like to play on my time off. And I seem to have gotten a lot out of it for uh, what it offers. For being free and everything like that. So I'll do, I'll do probably one more battle and then uh, we'll call it quits here. Let's level up this guy. Five monsters. Let's merge them. So I should get probably maxed out from doing this. Yeah, I got level 10, sweet. So he's maxed out. And I think I unlocked enough. I was five monsters, so I have some free room now. So let's summon a couple more times and then we will uh, do a battle and then we will, I'll check you guys later. So summoning stones, you get 300. I just spam through these. I usually end up getting garbage monsters. Come on. So you can tap it to accelerate the summoning once it gets to that screen if you don't want to watch it. If the game wants to load. Oh, so much loading. So much loading. Oh, really? You're going to do this right now? You're just going to load forever? There we go. Up, oh, common. Yes, I got the, the ancient alien flyer. Giorgio would be proud. And a homunculus. I don't have any more summoning stones. So let's try another gravity rush. Use all my my summoning spirit. 
cost real world money items. Hopefully we get a, a, a special rare here, that'd be great. Ah, uh, another rare. Oh, another spy costume raven. More waifus, that's what I want. I need all the waifus. So let's see what we got here, level 30. We got metal and we got earth. I think we can take him. Ah, uh, that guy's almost dead. I better change him up because ah, uh, he's not gonna get in there, is he? Shoot. Looks like we're gonna have to get rid of the big guy here. Put in this one. So you can see, uh, he has a, a support uh, support skill. So whenever he's like the king, like the leader. He'll have that on everyone, so he'll get less damage this fight, so that's pretty good. And let's bring along... Uh, let's range these guys by attack. Get the strongest attacker in here. There we go. So, uh, metal, I'm gonna do... Uh, he's gonna, probably gonna get worked. Uh, any fire guys here? Negative on the fire guys. Let's bring in something cool. Let's uh, let's bring in one of these knack guys here. I think it's a knack guy. He looks like a knacker. Again, more loading. So I'm gonna want to target the the earth guys with my uh, my wood people here because they do more damage, and then I'll have uh, my water guy do damage to the metal guy in the middle there. Oh, he's gonna rock me. Kinda gotta be on your toes for this friend assist. What skill do we got here? Wood damage to one enemy. Let's take him out. Oh, looks like I did already. What do we got here? What? What was that? I don't know what the hell that was. That was new. Oh, I had to pick again because I killed the enemy. That's what it was. So yeah, the game's battle system is great. Um, I do wish that the free-to-play aspects weren't as big of a crunch. Like They're just so like in your face about all this stuff. Like, you gotta wait all this time for him to heal, or, or you can pay money to do it. Kind of, it's kind of a letdown on that aspect. But uh, saying that, I've put 10 hours into the game, which seems insane. So let's see if we get a boss. I probably don't have a boss for this region yet. But bosses are basically just uh, tougher spirits, that sort of thing. And since we're so far away from our home base, we're getting one of these raid bosses pretty much every time. But yeah, that's Destiny of Spirits. Uh, it's out right now on pretty much every region for Vita. And uh, it's great fun. Uh, I'm enjoying my time with it. So here's all the things you can buy. So please be uh, excited for that. So I'm going to let my guys heal here for a little bit. And uh, I'm going to catch you all later. Uh, let me know what you think about the game in the comments below, either on psnstores.com or on this YouTube video. Uh, subscribe if you like our videos, as well as check out the website, because going to the website is actually what pays the bills. Thanks a lot. Uh, I'll check you guys later. Bye.